what's good agent of chaos back at it and coming at you today with uh, something I said that I probably would never do uh, my very first vlog uh, now the point in today's video is not to just uh, like everybody else that does vlogs oh this is what I'm doing you know I woke up at this time no agent of chaos don't roll like that if I do bring a vlog to the channel it's uh, it's going to be because there's a, it's an information vlog. It's not to show you guys how I live because, to be honest with you, I don't think anybody's life is that interesting where they need to, you know, record everything that they do in a day. I, I don't give a shit who you are. That's just my opinion. You, you don't need to record everything that you do in your life. Uh, so today's vlog is purely information. Uh about the channel, uh, the change that's going to be coming to my channel, uh, and I'm going to try and get this done as fast as possible because as you can see the sun's going down and the mosquitoes are getting somewhat bad. Uh, so number one, uh, why I'm out walking, um, well no let's rewind here a bit and we'll start with the changes that are coming to the channel. Um, there probably won't be as many gameplay videos coming to the channel in the next couple of weeks and we'll get I'll get into the reason for that in a minute um, so yeah there won't, probably won't be like an until dawn six last of us six you know uh, the evil within seven episode seven you know there probably won't be any of those uh, coming in the near future and the reason for that <coughs> is because I had a little bit of an accident, and I'll get into the backstory right now. Um, my wife has three brothers, and her uh, the brother that's uh, two years older than she is has been having some problems, uh, some back problems lately, and he hasn't been able to move, and he's got a lot of stuff that he needs to get done around the house, and uh, you know. Um, my wife's second oldest brother and I, we, uh, we offered to go up and help, and today is Saturday, June the 11th, I think, 2016, so we've been going up there all week, and uh, Thursday, Thursday was no different, uh, we went up there, I picked up my son, or I got my son ready, I fed him, brought him out to daycare, and then I picked up my brother-in-law, and we went down there, and uh, we, uh, we continued to split wood, because that's what we've been doing is splitting wood, and uh, about 10 o'clock, just before we, we were going to stop and have a smoke break, I had an accident involving a wood splitter and my finger. Uh, I cut the top quarter of my ring finger on my left hand uh, almost completely off. Um, yeah, so I'm walking down the old highway that we have uh, behind our house, um, for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is I find that walking, uh, just, it helps me with the pain. The, and I'm in excruciating pain. Um, so I've been walking a lot. The, uh, the, the app that I have on my phone, I actually, uh, you know, calculated how much I, I walked yesterday. And before 10 o'clock a.m., uh, I had walked close two six kilometers I started walking at four o'clock in the morning on Friday uh, because that's when the morphine and the freezing started to come out of my finger and I just I couldn't sleep anymore so I started to walk and I walked for probably two and a half hours three hours and it just it really helps with the pain uh, the second reason that we're coming down here is because uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a uh, of an idea of what happened. My father-in-law has a, has almost the exact same splitter as my brother-in-law's. And I'll just, uh, I'll show you guys real quick kind of what happened. <clears throat> just to, you know, I mean, it was, it, it was just a freak accident. I mean, there was, there was nobody at fault. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my brother-in-law's fault. It was just one of those things that I guess had to happen. And it happened. <laughs> and it sucks. So there's the wood splitter there. We're coming up to it. <clears throat> I'll just show you guys what uh, what had happened. 
Oh shit. All right, so uh, pretty much what happened was um, my brother-in-law went to hand me a block and I misjudged the weight of it. And when he handed it to me, um, my, I misjudged the weight and I let my finger come down a little too far and uh, slice. Yeah, right there. Just kind of cut me right there. And uh, as you can see on this one, like this one's pretty old. And like there's a lot of, I don't know if you'd be able to see them or not, but there's a lot of ding, like notches and it's it's rusty and it's dull as shit. Um, the one good thing that, that kind of came out of it was that my brother-in-law is, is a brand new splitter. So the wedge is extremely sharp. Uh, there's no dings or nicks in it. Uh, there's no rust. Uh, so I went to three doctors on Thursday. Uh, the last one being a um, the last one being a plastic surgeon, and uh, they pretty much told me that yeah, it's it's bad because my finger was uh, hanging on just by like a little piece of skin that was that was all that was really holding my finger on, <laughs> uh, sh and you know they told me you know it's bad, but. Uh, a couple of things that could have been worse. I could have lost my entire finger. I could have lost two fingers. Um, shit, I could have even lost my entire hand. Um, you know, if circumstances would have been different. But because the wedge was uh, is brand new, and it's so sharp, and there's nothing really wrong with it, it was a clean cut. Like, I busted the bone, which goes pretty much without saying. I busted the bone, I busted all the uh, vessels in my finger, and I busted, uh, like I tore all the nerve endings at, at the tip of my finger. So, you know, the plastic surgeon pretty much told me that, you know, you got a 50% chance of, you know, we can reattach it, which they did. Uh, and they put a pin in it to keep it straight so that it doesn't curl. And, you know, they pretty much said, you know, you got a 50% chance that it takes. Uh, it is the top of my finger, so, you know, I have a, maybe a better chance than 50%. So, there's that, but because it was such a clean cut, you know, they, they didn't have to go in and, like, operate or anything like that. Because it was such a clean cut. If it would have happened on my father-in-law's, where it's a little more dull and it's a little more jagged, you know, the, the chances of me doing more damage than I actually did, uh, you know, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Not to say that this isn't bad, because I, like I said, I am in excruciating pain. I have never felt pain like this in my life, and I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy at all. <laughs> so, the point in today's video is to let you guys know that because of the accident that I had, I obviously can't hold a controller, which means I can't record videos. I can't play the game and record the video, uh, because I just, I, I can't. Um, I have to kind of keep my arm, my hand elevated, uh, because if not, the throbbing is just intense. Like, it's, it's bad. And the doctor told me that, you know, I need to keep it elevated. So, I can't really hold a controller to record the games. And that kind of sucks, because that's what I have. I have a gaming channel where I, I upload gameplay videos. I have a few that I've, I've recorded. I just need to you know, uh, edit them and post them on the channel. I have a few, but you know, in the, in the next couple of weeks, I don't know what I'm going to be posting because I do post new videos every day. I don't want to get into this vlog stuff because like I said, it's just, my life isn't that interesting. I don't believe anybody's life is that interesting. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want the channel to go stagnant because I love making YouTube videos. So maybe I can find a way to find a way to do something. You know, I got a lot of Black Ops multiplayer games saved on my Xbox. I don't want to do too many of those because you know, I mean they get boring after a while because I'm not such a great multiplayer player. <laughs> so I don't want to be doing that. Um, so I don't know, I'll figure something out, but the point of today's video was just to let everybody know that uh, I might be at a commission here for a bit, and it sucks. Um, but before I do 
end this. Um, I just want to say a uh, big shout out to the first and third hospital that I went to. They did an amazing job uh, keeping me calm. Uh, I want to thank my wife as well, Mrs. Chaos, because without her, I don't think uh, I would have I would have made it through uh, the whole experience uh, because my mother, my wife was at work when it happened, and my mother-in-law was the one that took me to all three hospitals. And on the way to the the plastic surgeon, um, I had kind of wrapped my head around the fact that you know if I lose the top of my finger, you know then that's just gonna have to be the way it is. You know, I mean, I, I can't really do much about it. Um, and then as soon as we got to the plastic surgeon and they took the bandages off, um, I kind of lost my mind a little bit. And if it wasn't for my wife and the doctors, I don't know what I would have done. Uh, I love my wife to death. Mrs. Chaos is, uh, she's the one that kept me level-headed. And I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate all the, the help that the doctors gave as well. So, big shout out to you guys as well. And, uh, you know, I'm looking at probably six to eight weeks um, before I even think about getting some use out of my hand. Uh, and that really sucks, because it's the summertime, and, you know, uh, we had plans to take my son to the zoo and a water park, and obviously now that's not going to happen uh, because his father was just being, well, not that I was being dumb because, like I said, it was just an, a freak accident. You know, it happened. I feel like a complete and fucking utter retard um, because it happened. But it's one of those things that I just, I can't, I can't really help, I guess. So yeah, that's the uh, the update and the point of this vlog is to just fuck, you know, I wish I wish it hadn't happened. I really wish that it hadn't happened, but it did and uh, it sucks. So, as all YouTubers say, smash the thumbs up, drop a comment if you are new around here. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I am going to try my damnedest. To make sure that there is a brand new video up every day uh, until I get better. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. But I will figure something out because I am Agent of Chaos. And Agent of Chaos will do what he says. Uh, in the description you'll find my Twitter, my Twitch, my Xbox Live and PSN Gamer tags. Something specific that you would like to see me do on the channel. Go ahead, drop me a line and I'll see if I can get it done. Uh, I won't be doing vlogs. Uh, unless their information vlogs. Uh, I won't be just doing one to say, hey guys, it's 8.30 and I just woke up and I just had a cup of coffee and, you know, I'm not going to be doing those kind of vlogs because I think it's cheap. I mean, I know there are probably people out there that love those kind of vlogs from their favorite YouTubers, but for me, not going to happen from old age into chaos. Uh, so yeah. That's the update, and obviously I'll keep, uh, you know, I'll keep the channel updated as much as I can about my progress and all that kind of shit. So, having said all that bullshit, I am Agent of Chaos.